Today's show comes to you from Royal Liverpool Golf Club, the venue for this year's Open Championship. One of the keys to hosting a successful championship is the partnership between the venue and the Open's organisers, the RNA. The planning process begins as soon as the previous Open has come to an end, with everything from hole locations to grandstand positioning and television compounds carefully considered. It's always fascinating how you see a golf course at any other year, any other day of the year, and the infrastructure starts building from three or four months in advance, and things start popping up out of the ground. Um, something that's, that's unique to, to Royal Liverpool is the fact that we have an 18th arena that lends itself very well to building um, a sort of a horseshoe shape, I suppose, and a lovely arena uh, for the 18th hole, the 72nd hole of the championship that sees in the region of 7,000 spectators sat in that arena and a lovely amount of space for everything else that goes with it. A huge amount of spectators on the ground and a village that will have wonderful aspects, wonderful views down the 18th hole come the, the final stages of the championship. When I came here nine years ago, you know, we, we were only 12 months away from the championship, so it was quite a quick meeting with the RNA. We put the spectator paths in and we've kept them ever since. But this year, thinking that we were already ahead of the game, um, Roger and his guys came down and says, by the way, we need these three times a bit. I thought, oh. <laughs> so yeah, well, luckily, you know, you don't, we don't have to butcher these areas, it's just a, a slow takedown over a, a year to two year period. It's an interesting thing, the mowing of the grass. To the golfer, obviously, you have different heights of cut, whether it's a fairway, a semi-rough, or, or the thick rough. To us as event organisers, with, with upwards of 40,000 people going around the golf course, we have to then um, establish areas where we're, we're making the least amount of impact upon the environment. Uh, this is a golf course that got tremendous wildlife, um, it's got wildlife that will be nesting, for example, in the spring of, of the championship. And we need to make sure that any grass cutting uh, is done the previous year, uh, and as much as we possibly can, uh, that Craig is comfortable with, obviously, and, and the venue itself, to ensure that we don't interfere with nesting come the spring. So it's very early planning, which, um, which we're very, very conscious of on an annual basis. Something we're repeating in 2014 is that we have the club's 16th hole as our 18th and we actually start on the club 17th hole so generally once you get onto the golf course what you would play on a normal day uh, as a member of the club we would add two onto the whole sequence the first contractor as it were to come on site is our grandstand contractor will bring 20,000 seats with him starting with the 18th arena which is the biggest build um, the first tee and then sort of moving away from the clubhouse and then our tentage contractor come on site start building the various tented villages that we have hospitality complexes uh, and the dress out internally of that of course and then June onwards we get television to build uh, the various camera rostra the hoists the TV studios where the introduction of the show takes place in these complexes and then of course the the talent themselves come on site from television following the Scottish Open uh, and step in, hopefully, with everything battened down and, and ready for the Open Championship. <laughs>